All right, guys, Good old Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're going to do a review today on this guy right here. This is the Sightmark Ultrashot M-Spec, and this has got the LQD Reflex Sight. But before we do that, the reason that I'm going to do a review on this is because of this guy right here. This is, and if you followed my channel for any period of time, this was one. Of, this was the very first YouTube video that I ever did, and I did it on this specific rifle right here. This was the old number one. This is a Barnes Precision Lowered. They make them right there in Apex, North Carolina. I have just, this This is one of the coolest rifles I ever had because it is number one. And I'll show you a real quick video of the, my very first shots with it. And yeah, I, I shot it with this guy on there. So I felt like I'm gonna start a YouTube channel and the very first video that I did was on this guy. All right, folks. I don't ever do this, but uh, when I was looking at buying this red dot, there were no critiques or uh, anything else about it. So uh, anyway, this is my first go around. Yeah, all right. So in any case, uh, yeah, my very first YouTube video that I ever did was on this thing. And guys, I've run the smoke out of this guy. I've used it in several events. Uh, it's not... Look, it's not an EOTech, but it gives you that EOTech-like feel. This thing, uh, IP68, waterproof up to 40 feet, uh, it, it's, it's worth it. Uh, 10 levels of light, you've got night vision capabilities, a CR123. What was lacking on this thing? Well, it needed an LQ, a quick detach that was lockable. Also, it'd be nice if it had like shake awake or automatic off because it didn't. I've never had a problem with the battery running dead on this thing, but one of the cool things, and we'll get into it when we're talking about this guy, is the full size of that window. It's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and set this aside and talk about this bad boy right here. This is the new Ultrashot M-Spec series, the LQD Reflex Sight in black. We'll go over details here. Integrated sunshade, precision accuracy, uh, digital switch controls, 12 hour auto shutoff. Very important. A low battery indication. That's pretty cool too. They, they've integrated a, a lot of things that I was, I was like, this thing would be ideal if it just had a few add-ons and they've added it. They've done that. 10 reticle brightness levels, including two, uh, I believe, night vision, IP68, this thing's waterproof to uh, 40 feet or 12 meters. Do the math, 12 meters. What is that, 36 feet? 36.6, something like that. Motion sensing auto on off activation and the LQD attachment mount. This is the SM Sierra Mike 26034. And we're gonna take it out to the range and I'm gonna blast the daylights out of it and show you guys how it works. But one of the best attributes about this thing is that optic window as well as the brightness levels. Cause if you watched 704 Tactical's review on this thing, he really had a, a good compliments to say about how uh, the brightness levels really were bright in full bright, bright sunshine. Okay, so you've got this little deal right here. You don't lose that. Uh, basically, you're gonna come out of the box with this neoprene cover, which is really, really cool, as well as the instruction manual. This is the user manual. We'll go ahead and just set that to the side. I pretty well know how this thing's gonna work out. So, what do we got? Let's open it up, take a look. It comes wrapped in this plastic bag. Let's open it up. And, ta-da. Look at this guy. So, what are the differences? It, uh, well, it's it's bigger. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. So what they did, they didn't just take the original and throw it in there, as you can see right there. But it is significantly bigger. It's taller. Uh, I would say that it's a little bit shorter as well. So that's nice. They've compressed it and made the window bigger. Get rid of that thing right there. Uh, that's pretty neat. So what they've done also is they've increased the size of the protection inside it, as you can see right there. That's pretty neat. Let's see if you can look at it. Now, one of the complaints that I've seen some other channels is they were talking about this um, plastic shade, sunshade. Uh, I think that's a nice add-on, but it's not something that I will probably even use. Well, maybe, you know what, you never know. If it's really bright outside, you, you may want to do something like that. Uh, one of the other options here that I, I like that they've incorporated as an advancement is that they do have that 
QD lockable attachment area right there. Uh, basically, the controls look about the same. You have a CR123 battery. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. They've got the protection thing. The first thing that I would do, guys, if you are going to buy one of these things, you can use these temporarily. When I had the factory battery in this thing initially, it had literally, it was going out on me after about three or four rounds. And I was just like, nope, can't have that. But I want to replace the battery. Boom, no problems. So we'll go ahead and look at that. I think that's the negative side. They do have a, a little thing right there. It looks negative. I'm going to go ahead and pull it in there. We'll put the positive in or negative in out there. I like that that's tethered. The previous model, that was not tethered. So they are they are making moves to make something better than they had before instead of just rebranding something. I'm digging that. Now, I met the folks out there, uh, some of the guys <laughs> from Sightmark. One of the guys was a ranger. Uh, really dug him. He and I had a lot of fun. Sniper team leader. Uh, had some good discussions, drank a few beers, and just had a, a really good talk with those guys. That was really cool of them to uh, invite me into their booth and have some fun. Uh, one of the things I will tell you is that the adjustments are 1MOA. 1MOA right there, designed in the USA, Texas, USA. Most likely these things are going to be made in the Republic of China, but um, at this price level, the majority of your stuff is going to be made in China in a way. So the adjustments are 1MOA, and the nice thing is, is they've included this little wrench, which is nice. Uh, I don't think that that's, that's not, oh, never mind. You can use a regular size screwdriver this time. It used to be on the old one, you had to have a, uh, one of these things, or an Allen wrench to make the adjustments. That's nice that they include this because I can actually use it on my old one, but on the new one, uh, that won't even fit in there. So let's go ahead and get a screwdriver because one of the things I want to do is I want to hear the clicks. Now, uh, I know this thing is waterproof. I've actually tested it, and what we may do is go ahead and do a five gallon bucket for 24 hours, see how good it looks there. And one of the things that I like to see is you've got epoxy and these areas right here, that's a good thing. And like I said, this is not just going to be a tabletop. We're going to go ahead and take this thing out and see what it looks like in the open. I pulled that off. Let's see if the thing turns on. Oh, yeah, there we go. And as you can tell, there's from the window. I don't know if you can see the dots with as much light that I have on. But uh, the, the window... From this side, it's, it's big. It's significant. Okay, let's do this. Let me get a screwdriver out, and let's make some adjustments and hear those clicks. Stand okay, so we've got our little trusty screwdriver here, and that's the only one of the downfalls, too, is that they are uh, one MOA clicks. That's nice. And the only downfall of having one MOA clicks is if you're going to throw a magnifier behind here and you're going to try to shoot some stuff out past you know, 200 yards, 300 yards. Uh, to hit a silhouette style uh, target at that distance, I don't think you're going to have any issues. And what I may do also is I'm going to put it on one of the AR9s just to make sure that uh, we can have fun at shooting steel in close range. But look at that, guys. That is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm looking through it right now, and I will tell you this, I'm digging the way it looks. Uh, again, I don't know that I would ever use the sunshade if I did, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, a lot of people will ask you, uh, what is the advantages over going over say like a mini dot like this? Well, I don't know. I think that is totally personal preference, but I'll say this. This guy right here really does look cool. And one of the things is, is that you can actually pick this guy up uh, for $249. And I'll put the link down below to my website. I'll have the uh, link that you can head over. I think uh, Palmetto State Armory is carrying these things. The LQD, that's an upgrade. The slotted for the, uh, the adjustments uh, is an upgrade. The movements 
I, I, I think this is a great option. Also, if you just like a big open window, and that's probably going to be one of your biggest advantages over going with this guy is a big open window. But guys, that's it. Let's get on out to the range and have some fun with this bad boy and see how it runs. Stand by. All right, guys, we're back out here at the range. I'm going to tell you something. I've been testing out this upper from the guys over there at uh, Palmetto State Army. I decided to go ahead and put this uh, red dot <laughs> on that thing because it's a lot more fun to shoot still than anything else. I tell you what, I've had an absolute blast. The reticle, it works in movements. It does everything. Uh, the glass is clear. When I've got my, and if you guys don't know about this, these glasses right here, these have a one power lens in them. It's like a reader's. But literally, they make that reticle clear up so nice. Let's go ahead and put a couple rounds on these targets right here. And I'm going to do it under time. And let's see how we can do. Okay, so you guys can see all three of them. Here we go. All right, 3.45. I do believe I missed a one down there, but that's okay. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and sling it. <laughs> and we'll go from the easy ready. Put the gun on safe. We are there. Here we go. Well, I don't think we did it in 1.08. But you're getting my drift. The reticle on this guy is absolutely made. Hold on. Let's see. There it is. Well... I think we can get it, but in any case, it's just an absolute blast to do. You can hit. And that is the fun part about it. But I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> I am just having a blast with this thing. Now, I did find out something I left out on the tabletop review is that we have a 200 to 2,000 hour lifespan. It does have, like I said, that on it and the off shake awake. I kept uh, thinking it was going to turn back on, but it didn't. But I understand there's a procedure where you have to turn it on, then you press the on-off at the same time. It flashes, and there we go. Let's do this one more time. Here we go. You can always tell if you're out of ammo because when you do, the bolt stays forward. And if you try to put it on safe, it won't. So that's a good way to do it. But anyway, guys, uh, $239, $249 for this thing. I'll put the link down below where you can get it. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I've had a blast. And I'll go ahead and get you guys a couple images and show what's going on. we got to get out of here because the uh, 4-H club is getting ready to start shooting. And there's nothing like seeing a bunch of young guys and girls shooting guns. That's the way it ought to be. It's Coda Boy 32 like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. It's good boy 32. I'm out.
All right, guys. Good boy 32 here. Check it out. This.